Hey Aries, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for July 27th through August 3rd. All right, so what are we doing this week? We're going to do what are you attracting towards you? And then what is a significant person in your life attracting towards them? So this could be... That could be a romantic person, that could be family, that could be somebody at work, okay? So, doesn't have to be romantic, although for most of you it probably is. All right, so this deck, which is the Literary Witches, um, is basically split into two decks. So this is what you're attracting. This is how you're attracting it. Same thing. This is what they're attracting. And this is how they're attracting it. All right? So we're going to start here. These readings can start off a little bit um, like a mystery but it will unfold as we go, okay? Sometimes it's more clear than others. So let's see what you're attracting. All right, so we have fate. So something feels fated here, okay? Um, you might feel like somebody or something is fated to be in your life. All right, so... Each of these cards has a famous literary person on here. This is Eileen Chang. So you might want to look that up if you want. Um, this is about certain events falling into place. Um, it's about, you might feel like there are outside forces that you're attracting or that you're affecting in some way it's also acceptance so you might be feeling some type of acceptance towards a situation acceptance is good okay so acceptance is the opposite of resistance resistance you are trying to push something away that might be meant for you okay but acceptance is accepting whatever comes towards you, okay? So we're talking about what you're attracting. So I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. So let's see what this person has down here. We have transformation. So, you know, this might be a, a Scorpio, by the way, um, because this is a little bit like the death card. And the person on this card is Yumiko. Kurahashi, okay? So something, this person is attracting transformation in some way, all right? And then let's go back up to you. How are you attracting this faded occurrence or this faded um, event and this acceptance? How are you doing this? We have wings. Okay, so I like this card a lot. Um, the wings, okay, are about wishes, wishes or angels possibly helping you in some way. Um, this can also be about wandering. You know, you might be attracting something into your life just by allowing your mind to wander and you might be getting you might be getting downloads you might be getting in, intuitive hits like you might be getting a lot of creative ideas right now um you know there's just this overall feeling of you know, accepting one's fate, accepting, you know, and, but it's, 
acceptance of one's fate because it's <clears throat> it's fulfilling. It's fulfilling its wish fulfillment. I see this, you know, a little bit like um, the star card. So a little bit of Aquarius here. How is this person transforming? All right, so we have the praying mantis. All right, so I forgot what the praying mantis is about. Let's see. All right, so this person <coughs> is transforming in kind of a, a fun way and kind of a, you know, a little bit of a manipulative way, maybe not, um, and I don't feel manipulative is the best word. Uh, You know, this can be a very, very witty person that you're dealing with. This person might communicate a lot by, by their wit, by their sarcasm. This came out earlier in, a, in another reading really strongly, sarcasm. Um, so this person might be transforming kind of from, from a, you know, kind of a little bit of a comedian with you to a little bit more serious. I feel like this person is getting serious, you know, and I don't know completely what this is about for you, but I feel like it's good. So let's see. You're attracting some type of fated event. What fated event is Aries attracting and it feels like you have a lot of acceptance around this because I feel like it's fulfilling some type of wish for you. All right, so we have the King of Swords. All right, so you might be dealing with, again, an air sign. I, again, I feel like um, actually this one down here Or this feels a little bit like the star card, Aquarius. I said that earlier. Um, <clears throat> so you might be dealing with uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is about, King of Swords is about vision, having vision. So I feel like whatever faded event you're attracting, it's because you envisioned it. Okay. You envision this for yourself because it's something that you are wishing for. It's, it feels like the universe kind of coming together to bring something that's been in your heart for a long time. Could be a person, okay? Could be, could be something else. What else do we have here? <clears throat> yeah, look at Page of Pentacles. This is a window of opportunity. A window of opportunity possibly with the king of swords now <clears throat> remember down here you know somebody is transforming I, I feel like from being very witty and fun and sarcastic to a little bit more serious and then we have the king of swords up here which who is very serious and has a lot of vision and comes from a place of truth okay you might be asking this person, whoever this is, you might be asking them a lot of questions um, because you sense that they are transforming in some way. <clears throat> All right, so the wings, the wings. So let's take a look at what this is about for you. All right, so we have the Empress, beautiful. Empress is, you know, somebody finds you extremely alluring, extremely attractive. It could be an Aquarius. I'm feeling very, <laughs> very much that somebody is definitely has a connection with an Aquarius here. The Empress is about, you know, being that ideal partner, nurturing this person. You might, might be nurturing this person in a way that helps them to you know, transform to become more comfortable with not only 
joking around, but you know, being a little more serious. They could be seeing you as that that ideal feminine or that ideal partner, ideal person. They could be seeing you as the mother of their children, okay? But the Empress is a combination of all of the queens, so that's why the Empress is known as the Divine Feminine. One more here. And then we have the Death card, which is card of Scorpio. And, you know, you, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Scorpio or Aquarius, I feel, is strong here. Um, but look, you know, this person down here, regardless of what sign they are, is transforming, and they're transforming because of you, because this is what they want. And this, I feel, is a wish for you, the wings. I feel like there might be some angels helping you out here, okay? You might feel that too, because, I, you know, I feel like you have a strong sense that this is going on. You might be seeing it, you know, in the physical world. You might be seeing this person transform on social media. You might be seeing this person transform at work. You know, like, it's almost like a maturity. Like, they're, they're going from... You know, like being a kid to leveling up and being that mature adult. And it's very, it's very attractive to you. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person down here. What is this transformation all about for them? All right, so we have three of wands. So, you know, this person's expectations for their life have changed, okay? Um, they want more. They're not satisfied with, with where they're at. They know they can have more. They know they can do more. You know, their expectations have changed, and now's the time. Now's the time for them to make some changes. And then we have, ooh, we have King of Pentacles. Nice. I like that card. <laughs> I like that guy. Um, King of Pentacles, he just looks, look at that. What I just say? He's maturing, or she is maturing, okay? And they're getting out of that, uh, I don't know, that, that immature way. And believe me, maturity, immaturity, there's really no age attached to it, okay? Um, you know, you can be a 40-year-old and be very immature, and you can be a 20-year-old and be very mature. So it's not about an age, all right? But there is a, um, there's a sense of maturity. This person is growing up, moving to the next level. This person might have just, um, I feel like they feel really good about themselves, too. They're in a really good energy, and you're seeing this in some way. You're seeing this, and you're seeing this as a window of opportunity for you. Um, you know, King of Pentacles wants to be generous, is happy, is happy with themselves. So they're able to give a lot. When, when we see King of Pentacles, we know that this person is in a really good place. They're stable. They feel good about themselves. They might be wearing a really nice suit now. They might have a really nice uh, little groomed beard there with a little gray in it. I mean, how nice is that, really? I like that. Um, yeah, give me a King of Pentacles all day. <laughs> all right, so that's beautiful there. Um, the Praying Mantis. Let's see how this is transforming here. Remember, the Praying Mantis is about, you know, fun manipulation. That's why I didn't feel like this was about, you know, true manipulation. This person is manipulating or changing themselves in a very positive way, all right? Maybe in a fun, joyful way. Let's see. And we have... Six of Pentacles. So I feel like if 
if you felt that this person was a little bit of a taker in the past and you know I feel like that taker energy sometimes comes from you know that person that's overcompensating a little bit with uh, wit and sarcasm you know you usually that type of characteristic in somebody they're usually a taker in some way um, you know they want that constant validation of people laughing at them and not that there's anything wrong with that you know being a funny person for sure um, but I feel like because King of Pentacles is very generous so I feel like this person is getting ready to be much more generous kind and mature with you and you're probably saying oh god thank god you know you might enjoy that funny humorous side of, of them but you're like is that all there is what else the hierophant wow this person is really um you know i feel like this person is considering you seriously okay because the that's what the hierophant's about you know it's about really taking a deep look at your core values do my core values match with aries okay um do i want a traditional path which i feel like this person does i feel like this person you know that could be part of their leveling up part of their maturing process that you know they do want to take a traditional path and they see you empress <clears throat> as that that ideal partner to do that with okay hierophant is traditional path um, but it's also you know after this person has taken some time to ask you know what are their their core values what do they really want in life transformation right hierophant is also the card of Taurus so you might be dealing with a Taurus okay but I feel like you see this this is like you might have known all along that this person was going to get to this point and you just sat back and kind of waited not waiting in a oh my gosh you know how long do I have to wait for this but waited in the sense of you know what I'm just gonna go about my life when this person figures it out they will find me and I feel like that's that's what's going on here so let's get one card from your person let's get one card for you and then we're gonna get one Oracle card this is my love language deck came out interesting that's the first time that's happened all right so let's see what do we have for you all right so we have five of wands <clears throat> now five of wands says that you don't know where you completely stand with this person or you feel like there's competition for this person and yet I haven't seen that energy at all here for you unless with the page of Pentacles the page of Pentacles says you know that you see a window of opportunity here with this person but you also see you know possibly where their limitations were in the past you know even if this person is maturing right now so you know you may not be completely sure you you might want to wait and see what this person brings to the table which is perfectly okay and then for them, what do we have over here? We have two of pentacles, so they're not sure either. All right, but five of wands is more about is more about other people. Um, so like you might feel like there's suddenly competition for this person's affection. I don't feel like there is. I feel like this person with the empress up here with you and with this uh, death card transformation they're doing it for you with you in mind all right so um, with this two of Pentacles for this person down here I feel like that's more you know this 
King of Pentacles or this Taurus here, you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I feel it's more about will this Empress accept me or will this Empress wish that I stayed how I was, okay? You know, I don't feel like this person is transforming, you know, who they are at the core. I feel like they're just adding, you know, the, the adding a mature aspect to who they are. So you, if you remember this person as a complete goofball, which, you know, they still might be, but which I like, you know, I like a goofball, but I also like somebody who can be serious at, you know, at the appropriate time too. Um, so I feel like that's where, that's where two, of, I don't think this is a serious two of pentacles. I really don't. But I'll pull one more card to see. Two of pentacles. <clears throat> and we have ace of swords. So yeah, it's like they're asking, will, will Aries accept the truth of who I am now or will they not all right so these two cards came out we have be masculine be strong take action all right so that's speaking to somebody here maybe it's that king of pentacles king of pentacles has it going on I'm telling you so Yeah, there's just something very polished about that person. I feel like this masculine, this is this is how this masculine is transforming for you by showing you their more masculine, mature side, by being strong and by being confident and coming in and taking a little action. You know, and the fact that they do have that wit about them that strength, that's a strength for this person, they might have polished that up a little bit and that is gonna come out as very charming now. And then we have, listening to you is important. So, remember we have the Six of Pentacles over here. This person might have really enjoyed having you listen to them in the past. Now, with this maturity that they're bringing to the table, this is what's important to them now, is listening to you. That's how they're gonna show you that they have matured. Wow. I think I just went on a little, um... <laughs> I don't know. That was a very appealing reading to me, and it's because I like that card. I'm attracted to that card. <laughs> Okay, um, which is really funny, but yeah, there's something, it, that energy came through in a very particular way for you, Aries, today. So this is, this is either gonna resonate or it's not. Um, and it definitely resonated for me today, and I'm not an Aries. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you are looking for a more personal reading, uh, you can certainly reach out to me. Um, if not, of course, no problem. I will just talk to you next time. I hope you have a great week. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.